Hello everyone. Today in this session, I am going to tell you uh, the definition of electric current. So current means what? So current is basically the flow of anything. Water flows in the river. Is it what is current? Water current. But the flow of electric charge through a conductor or in a circuit, electrical circuit, is known as electric current. Right? So flow of charge particle through a conductor or in an electrical circuit is called electric current. So the definition of electric current is the rate of flow of electrical charge through a conductor. Conductor are the substance through which electric charge can pass easily. Insulators are the substances through which electric charge cannot pass easily. Okay? So conductor are the substances through which electrical charge can pass easily. Example, uh, copper, silver, aluminium, etc. And insulators are the substance through which electrons or charge particles are not pass easily. Okay? Example of insulator uh, are uh, paper, plastic, rubber, etc. Insulators. So, electric current is what? The rate of flow of electrical charge through a conductor is called electric current. Symbolically, the symbol of electric current is I is equal to charge divided by time. Where I is electric current, Q, uh, Q is charge and T is time. Okay. So this is the mathematical formula of electric current. Therefore, SI unit of current is Coulomb per second. Coulomb is the unit of what? Electric charge and second is the unit of what? Time. Therefore, Coulomb per second is the unit of electric current which is also known as ampere. Okay. So, 1 ampere is equal to 1 coulomb divided by 1 second. So, 1 ampere is the amount of current passing through a conductor when 1 coulomb of charge when 1 coulomb of charge passing through the conductor in 1 second. Right? If 1 coulomb of charge is passing through a conductor in 1 second then the current then the amount of current is said to be 1 ampere. Okay? <coughs> so this is the definition of electric current. But we know that there are two types of electric charge. One is positive charge, proton. Another one is negative charge, electron. So basically, uh, electric current is due to the flow of electrons only. Okay? In an electric circuit, electrons, uh, electrons are flowing from negative terminal to the positive terminal of a supply voltage or a battery, right? But conventionally, uh, the direction of uh, current is the direction of opposite direction of flow of electrons, which is called uh, conventional current, okay? By convention, the direction of flow of current is the direction of opposite direction of the flow of electrons in an electric circuit. And what is electric circuit? Uh, electric circuit is the continuous uh, and the close path of electric current. Continuous and close path of electric current. It's called electrical circuit. An electric circuit consists of some uh, electrical components like a, uh, a battery or a cell connecting wire, voltmeter, ammeter, right? Um, 
rheostate resistance, etc. etc. So, electric current is measured by an instrument called a meter, which is connected in series in the circuit. Okay? It is measured by a meter. It is measured by an instrument called a meter, which is connected in series in an electrical circuit. Right? So, electric current is measured by a meter. <coughs> okay. Our next definition is conventional current. Before going to uh, tell you conventional current, uh, what is uh, electric? circuit electric circuit the electrical circuit the continuous and close path of electric current the continuous and close path the continuous and close part of <coughs> the continuous and close part of electric current is called is called electric circuit. An electric circuit composed of One cell, a cell consists of one positive and negative terminal, some connecting wire, one resistance, this one resistance R, this is a cell, okay, having potential D. In this circuit, electron flows from negative terminal to the positive terminal. But the direction of conventional current is from positive to negative. Okay? Positive to negative terminal. The direction of current is from positive to the negative terminal. This current is from conventional current. But the electrons are flowing from negative to the positive terminal of the supply voltage. This is also known as supply. Okay? Supply, the source voltage. So, electrons flows from electron flows from negative to the positive terminal. E minus stands for what? Uh, electron. So, if the direction of electron is anti-clockwise, then the direction of conventional current is clockwise. Electric current flows from positive to the negative terminal of a battery or a cell. But the current, the conventional current is due to the flow of what? Electrons. Electrons are flowing from negative to the positive terminal but the conventional current is Conventional current flows from positive to negative terminal. Okay. This is called conventional conventional current. Conventional current. <coughs> Biconventional Biconventional The 
direction of by convention the opposite direction the opposite direction of flow of electrons in an electric in an electric circuit by convention the opposite direction of flow of electrons in an electric circuit is the direction of is the direction of electric current clear so this is a cell a cell consists of two terminal one is positive terminal another one is negative terminal okay electrons are flowing from negative to positive terminal and current flows from positive to negative terminal therefore the conventional current by convention the direction the opposite direction of flow of electron is the direction of conventional current right <coughs> this is a continuous path through which electric charge can pass easily so this continuous path or this closed path is called a circuit okay <coughs> this is an electric circuit consists of one cell one resistance and some connecting wires okay conventional current So there is a question uh, how many electrons are present in one coulomb? How many electrons are there in one coulomb charge body? So here given total charge is one coulomb. Okay? And we know that and we know that charge of an electron e is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb and we have to find number of electric charge and question mark we know that since q is equal to what n into e plus minus n e this is the quantization principle quantization uh, property of electric charge Q is equal to N E therefore N is equal to what? Q by E total charge Q 
1 coulomb and charge of an electron is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulombs. So calculating this, we will get 6 into 10 to the power 18. Okay? 6 point something, 6.25, 6.24. 6.24 into 10 to the power 18. So there are 6 into 10 to the power 18, 18 electrons are present in 1 coulomb charge body. Okay? And this can be calculated by uh, what? Q is equal to M E. This formula called quantization. Quantization property of electric charge. So 6 into 10 to the power 18 electrons are there in 1 coulomb charge body. Right? So, electric components, some electric components, number one, a cell. And some electric components and their some electric components and their. Uh, symbol, circuit symbol, SL. SL consists of one positive and one negative terminal. Okay. Number two, a battery. A battery. A battery. The combination of cells. There are three cells connected in series positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, ne negative. A battery is a combination of combination of cell. This is the series combination of cell. If the negative terminal of the first cell is connected to the positive terminal of the second and so on, then the combination of cell is called series combination and this combination is called the battery. Right? Alternatively, alternatively positive, negative, positive, negative. Okay? <coughs> Come a battery. Number three, key. Key means switch. Key open. If the switch is off, then open key. The symbol of open key is like this. This is a uh, uh, switch. Switch off. This is known as switch off. You know, in open circuit, no current flows to the circuit. Right? Uh, the symbol of open switch, open key is like this. 
switch off open key means switch off switch off there is no current there is no current flowing to the circuit number 4 key closed key closed that means switch on okay in the symbol of closed key is like this a dot in between the gap okay key closed that means switch on if we switch on then current flows to the circuit right switch on okay next number 5 resistance 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 means the flow of uh, the position of what by conductor or by substance to flow current through it Resistance means the opposition offered by a substance to flow current through it. An insulator has high resistance and a conductor has low resistance because current pass can pass through easily. So resistance involved resistance is like this, like speed breaker. Okay? This is fixed resistance. Resistance fixed. Resistance, not variable resistance. Resistance, simply resistance. Number six, uh, variable. Variable resistance. Variable resistance, uh, also known as real state. Variable resistance. If the if resistance uh, varies, then known as variable resistance. Uh, also called rheostat. And variable resistance symbol of variable resistance is like this. A arrow crossing the fixed resistance. Also. Or like this. R H symbol. R H notation. Okay. This is resistance. This is fixed resistance or simply resistance, and this is variable resistance uh, called rheostat, and circuit symbol is like this. Number seven. <coughs> Number seven. Emitter. Emitter. An instrument used to measure electric current in an electric circuit. Okay. Emitter and the circuit symbol of emitter is like this. A positive negative right number eight voltmeter voltmeter symbol of voltmeter is like this V positive negative voltmeter is an instrument used to measure voltage or potential difference between the two points in an electric circuit or in a in an electric conductor in an electric circuit okay voltmeter one more device uh, one more instrument used to detect the direction of electric current or used to detect the current the presence of electric current uh, known as a Galvanometer, right? Number 10, 9, sorry. Number 9, 
gathered him a leader. Gallant Hanno meter and the symbol of Gallant Hanno is like this Z positive negative. Okay, so these are the electrical components used to uh, used to make an electric circuit. Okay. Galvanometer. One more instrument. Uh, what, uh, the rheostat, variable resistance, ammeter, voltmeter, battery, connecting wire. Oh, okay. Number ten. Wire. Not joint. Wire not join. This one like this. Wire not join. Okay, number eleven. This is the last. This is last electric uh, component. Wire. Join. If wire to wire join, then there is a dot called junction. This point is called junction. If two wires join together, then the point, the joining point or the meeting point is called junction. And there is a dot like this. Okay? If wires are not joined, then symbol of Symbol is like this, and if the wires are joined, then symbol is like this. There's a dot in the joining point. Okay. Okay. These are the electrical components which are used to make an electric circuit. So there are two types of electric circuit. One is open circuit, and another one is closed circuit. That means if we uh, use a open an open key, right? If we use an open key in an electric circuit, then the circuit is known as open circuit. There is no current passing through the uh, circuit in open circuit. And if we use a closed key, but if the key is closed or switch is on, then then a current is passing through the circuit and the circuit is then known as uh, what closed circuit okay these are the electrical components our next if we use if we connect uh, a battery or a cell and a key, uh, some resistance, okay, like this. When the key is open, this is open key. That means the switch is off, okay. Switch is off. Is there a current? No, there is no current passing through the circuit. Here current I is equal to 0. Okay. Then the circuit is called open. Open circuit. Right. If the key is closed. In the same circuit if the key is closed. Like this. This one closed key closed key that means switch on if the circuit is closed then there is a current there is a current passing through the circuit okay 
and the current is passing from the positive to the negative terminal of the supply voltage or the battery or the cell. Okay, and when a current is passing through the circuit, then the circuit is called what? Closed circuit. This one. Closed. Okay, in open circuit, current I is equal to zero, current zero because switch is off. Okay, switch is open, key is open, and in a closed circuit, current I is not equal to zero. There is a current passing from the positive to the negative terminal of the supply voltage or the battery or the cell when the switch is closed okay and this type of circuit is called closed circuit this type of circuit is called open circuit right thank you